bones of the deceased that their poop often comes out white. With a vice grip for a mouth and an eating habits of a coffin, if a clan of hyenas is your serious finale, then the only thing your family will have left to bury are memories. Because once you're on this overgrown mongoose's meal prep, there won't be a lot of you left to put in the casket. And since there can be up to 80 members mm, of the clan, and just one can no. take down 30 pounds of meat in one city, you would basically be a rich man. He guy. says it's fine, but and you'll be fine with us owning hyenas so like Holly Quinn does. Guys, yeah, you feel this fucking hell. I told him you wouldn't be fine with it. Hyenas have a previous habit of going for the family honey pot, but it is for a reason. Hyenas don't have the ability to instantly end their prey the way big cats do. So for a larger animal like the buffalo, it's way easier to perform a hands free vasectomy and just wait for a blood loss to do the work for you. Imagine a mousetrap on your baby factory, but with the force of an adult moose stepping on it. Yeah. This next animal is probably going to be the most unexpected on this list, but let me paint a picture. Take a wolverine, bro. put it on for your team. Power tool in the same area for some of the most vicious carnivores in the jungle. This face of generational trauma belongs to the sloth bear. Yes. From oh, my cute sloth bear that I want. Until I learned how to eat me. One of which may be on this list. <laughs> 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 But don't let the sloth in this name fool you. These furry chainsaws know how to get active. Sloth bears share an environment with leopards and tigers. Tigers have been able to actively hunt and eat them. Which is why the sloth bears are one of the most aggressively homicidal types out there. Even though they have a size disadvantage, a pissed off sloth has been known to drive on even the most motivated tiger. And sometimes these bears clutch a 2v1. And since sloth bears can escape the trees like American black bears, it's like nature told his dark skin food that violence was his only option. Years of character development means this demon yoga will do almost anything alive as a threat, and that includes humans. Sloth bear attacks are incredibly weak. The same cause they use to destroy concrete like termite mounts can disembowel you with one sweat. And unlike reasons, because sloth bears do have to worry about predators, they're much more likely to attack or provoke. According to first hand accounts, sloth bears will often maul their victims and then chew and suck on their limbs until they're reduced to a bloody, mushy pulp. Sloth bears also typically go for their face, incapacitating their victims while biting and slashing to the point where neither your mother or your iPhone can recognize you. And of course, an animal that motivated usually won't stop until you're not moving. Which is why, even in tiger country, more people get sent to the emergency room by the blues of the jungle. And if you're really unlucky, if one's able to sever a critical artery with those adamantine and fingernails, and their series finale will involve you bleeding into the afterlife. One man was able to survive a particularly brutal mauling at the hands, or paws, of this bear. He recalled feeling immense pressure as the bear tackled him, put its full weight on him, and crushed his leg and its jaws like a stunning stick. When the bear was put out of commission, the man thought he got it easy. Until he looked at his leg and realized the bear had torn an entire chunk of his flesh, to the point where he could see his muscles on the feet. And in rare cases, his bears have been known to stab. One infamous bear known as a sloth bear of our sort had a human body count of at least 12 people while having also severely more than a dozen. So when I call this bear a box cutter with claws, I'm talking about both its personality and the way its victims tend to look after. But of course, it's not the only bear on this list. Because when you're one of the few animals that'll actively hunt humans, you're guaranteed to spot. Thanks to global warming, most of the polar bears hunt our range is now under a rock. A desperate polar bear will even attempt to block the walrus because even the walrus is kind of one shot in the first tusks. But a starving bear will resort to putting humans on the list if they get the chance. The polar bear is like a max out for They can smell a seal from a mile away, but they can track a safety through the field of ice. Which is why it's been said, if you see this Caucasian carnivore in the wild, it's already too late. There's a good chance the bears will hunt you for hours or even longer. This is Tim Jarvis, and during an expedition in the Arctic, he was allegedly stuck by a polar bear for a total of 10 days. Now, I have the fact that they can outswim every heat at the Olympics, and sprint fast enough to get a ticket in the school zone, and you'll see why getting on this ice cream is around the best place. Remember how African wild dogs tear into their prey while they're alive? Bears are just triple like cell dogs, and they usually clamp their jaws in the prey's back to the safety. And the back is usually where they start eating from, with the intestines being one of the first things to get pulled out. Also, polar bears are estimated to have a bite force of about 1,200 pounds per inch. Believe to be strong enough to crack a polar bear. And if one falls right to back, that best with your pair of music, it will also be a hatchet. And at least soft bears attack out of self-defense. When a polar bear puts someone in the moves, you can be sure it was 100% premeditated. And the worst part of it all is that normally polar bears wouldn't see humans as happy moves. They prefer the fat, nutrient rich seal. But because of what we've done to their home, now polar bear doesn't even need to see you or hear you. If you're a mile down the next starving polar bear, that can really 
be white. Remember the rule of thumb. If it's black, fight it back. If it's brown, best thing in the world. If it's white like the president, you're gonna be head of the The African wilderness has some of the most vicious and violent predators on the planet. Some of them we've actually already talked about. So it says a lot to add up all of them, but one big thing, Black Death, is actually a vegetarian.
Double ring octopus is a lot of things. Tiny, cute, and it's one of the most venomous things alive. It's a one with a neurotoxin called tetrodotoxin, and the lethal dose for a human Big white sock. Plenty of animals are venomous in Australia, from the jellyfish right down to the pigs. But there's one disturbing fact about blue ring octopus. The blue ring octopus is so small that most people don't even realize they're looking at it. And because they're so small and cute, some people will put the octopus in their hands, not realizing they're putting their lives in the octopus. Because not only is tetrodotoxin 10,000 times more powerful than cyanide, the neurotoxin shuts down muscles by blocking sodium channels. This decision can lead to muscle paralysis, respiratory failure, cardiac arrest, and then a permanent arrest. Which is why the smallest animals on this list can turn into past tense in as little as 30 minutes. And remember, if you don't feel what this blue ring Bundy bites you. Meaning you can hold it like this for three seconds and then flatline in the same hour. And if you're swimming while that paralysis hits, uh, use your imagination. Oh, there's no antidote. All medical professionals can do is hook you up to a respirator and manage your breathing just long enough to keep you alive. But with immediate medical attention, the chances of getting put in a casket by this blue ring health spawn are actually pretty low. But with a bite that's impossible to feel, it's very possible to not realize you've been wounded. And without medical attention, the chance of your soul getting a beat suddenly becomes a lot higher. Which means this lady just barely Eurostep becoming a name on a stone in one of the worst ways possible. Because anything that tries this hard to be seen is probably more toxic than future. That goes for octopus and people. This last one deserves its own viewer discretion warning because in some ways it's the most disturbing animal on this list. Not only does it have the highest human body count, you can be a victim and not even realize it. That's because it's believed that over 1 billion people in the world are infected with parasitic wounds. They're especially a problem in places with limited access to clean drinking water. But don't think this is just some third world problem. All you have to do is swim in waters containing eggs and you can lose the lottery and become a landlord to these parasites. Once inside you, these worms can cause a bunch of nasty infections and complications, but there's one disease that really stands out. These demonic flesh groups are familiar with worms, and they're as thin as so threads. And their favorite hangout spot is in your lymph nodes, where a bunch of them can block fluids from leaving the body, which can cause tissues in the body to swell almost like a disturbing cartoon, which is how a worm you need a microscope to see can cause a nightmarish condition known as elephantiasis. The situation where your leg can swell to the same size and color as an elephant's. And it doesn't just leave your double size cameras. All guidelines will allow me to say it's Google South Pub Rural Garden. Get infected with filarials and you might need one. But the unsettling part is you may never know you've been violated by filarials until it's too late. Millions of people around the world are infected and a lot of them have no idea. Which means, of course, statistically, someone watching this video has to have it. If it makes you feel any better, if you live in America, you apparently can't get infected with filarial worms. But you're not safe from the hundreds of other parasites that could turn your insides into an Airbnb. Around the world, hundreds of millions of people are infected with parasitic worms as we speak. And if you happen to be asymptomatic, they can put a whole mortgage down on your body and you would be the last one. And that's just about it for this video. If you actually enjoyed this video, first of all, you're a psychopath. But also, my Patreon is going to be in the description in case you want to support this very questionable content. In fact, you could have watched this video two days before I posted it on Patreon. But as always, please don't forget to send the video to share support. Please feel like you have to subscribe, or I'm not playing with you. Subscribe, or I'm just going to assume you have worms. Also, follow my Instagram, if for no other reason but to help me get verified. There's videos on there too, but honestly, I just want that blue check over the crippling Nike athlete. Happy Halloween, drink water, have your mother, and have a nice day. Even though I probably just will. No, that one doesn't.
object that you support. But for me, I would love to hear from people who are talking to almost every day. It's just practice, practice, practice. Usually it's not as bad, but the wind has been horrible. It's been horrible. It's been horrible. It's been horrible. Mm. 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 I know. Yeah, I'm gonna hit it. I'm gonna sit here and wait for the warp and hit it like I just did.
Legal.
You gotta move. I'm trying to do this and play my game. You gotta move. Because the three cup of is also like 150, and I don't need that many at one time right now. I know. Hi. 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 